my little stars and welcome back to another video. I'm just sitting here in my pajamas um, on my bed because I don't have anywhere to be for the next actually like 90 minutes. I only have like 90 minutes left. I was gonna say a few hours but I always like feel that way and then I leave it right until the last second to get ready. I've been doing that so much lately and I always show that in the vlogs as well actually me running about last minute um it's a habit that i definitely need to get out of because i don't know where it's come from like i don't know where it's come from because i used to always be on time and early for things maybe i'm just getting more relaxed it is a friday afternoon here it's just gone 12 o'clock so we're just hitting the afternoon now and i um have not been vlogging as much recently and i wanted to have a little chat before we start this video just like a nice heart to heart. I'm here in my pajamas, I'm right up in my face. We're just gonna be honest for a little bit here. Um, and the reason why I haven't done this sooner is because I felt like I was being really repetitive. I've said bits and pieces of how I'm feeling and what I'm up to throughout the vlogs, but I haven't been vlogging very regularly at all. Over the past month or so, I've only really picked up the camera a handful of times. So, you know, you're seeing like 20 minutes of my week if even, which is not enough for me to actually describe how I'm feeling in life right now. It's not really enough to get a gauge of how anyone's doing. Like if I went and met up with a friend for 20 minutes, I wouldn't expect to know everything that's gone on in her life in a week. Um, and it's not that I have to share everything with you, it's just that I think because there's certain things I'm not sharing with you, it makes me way, way less motivated to upload on YouTube. I have not been uploading as much recently because I really did need to take a step back and have some time for myself. Um, I was going through some things, like this year has been not without its challenges. Like I was doing a job that wasn't really fulfilling me, then I quit that job. I haven't managed to find a new job yet and now I'm kind of in that space, do I actually want a job and you know, we're trying to find a new place to live and I've just had many things that have been quite stressful and I haven't been sad. Like, I've had my moments where I've been like down but I haven't actually been like sad. I've been mentally well um, but I think just when you're going through a lot in your daily life and then when you do get those moments where you're happy, you want to hang out with your friends. When I'm with someone, I want to savour that and I just don't even feel like picking up the camera and so that has been why I haven't been vlogging as much because I've just been really really present in what I'm doing. I've gone through a lot of emotions where I'm wanting to people please and I'm wanting to be on the same level as the people all around me so what I mean by that is I you know, for so long when I lived in Berlin and stuff, I was really happy to be doing my own thing online. And even though it wasn't really generating any income and it's still not really generating any income, I didn't really care. I was like, I'm living my life. I'm really happy. This is fun. I've, you know, I've only been graduated a few months. Um, but now it's at that point where I'm like, I graduated two years ago and I just kind of assume that everyone around me is judging me because, you know, right now, I'm back at a point where I've just quit a waitressing job and I don't have any money in my account and my boyfriend's paying the rent and a lot of the time that like brings me a lot of panic where I'm like what if I bump into someone you know that I know um that I haven't seen in a few months and they're like what are you doing with your life now and you know and just when you bump into someone like I don't know like a couple weeks ago I bumped into a family friend and they were like so are you busy working away now up in Belfast and I was like yeah I was like, I just lied. Like, I just outright lied and was like, yeah, I'm busy working away. And over the past while now, I've been really getting into podcasts and I've been listening to things um, like people's message about self-improvement and um, just all these different things. And I realized that I was people-pleasing and I never, ever, ever in the past thought that I was people-pleaser, but I realized I was people-pleasing in the way that I was letting the fact that I'm not really doing very much right now really get to me. and. You know, I was worried about what people that I don't even talk to would think about me. Like, I was worried about what would people say that I haven't seen in two years if they saw what I was doing with my life right now. That doesn't even make any logical sense. Like, if someone else said that to me, I'd be like, why do you care if the people that you're closest to right now support you? Why do you care about what the people who don't support you think? Because the people that don't support you, they're never gonna support you. Like, I didn't realize that. Like, 
If someone already doesn't respect you, don't bend over backwards to try and get them to respect you. They're never gonna respect you anyway. And so I've been really having this like mental shift. I've been working through a lot of things and I'm like, I just need to get back into that headspace where I'm like, I'm happy doing what I wanna do. Um, and to be confident in that. And so that when the next time someone asks me what I'm doing with my life, I'll just be like, I'm making YouTube videos. I'm recording a podcast. I'm doing Instagram um, and I'm editing my book which is something I wanna do. I've got it sitting here, actually. I'm really nervous because I released this 11 months ago um, and I loved it at the time. Absolutely loved it, was so, so proud of it. I didn't know that much about like body confidence or <laughs> any of the things that I know now when I wrote that. This was my story, it was my journey, what I had learned up until that point. But now, 11 months on, reading this and reflecting on it, there are certain areas of this book that are so simplistic and there's also certain sentences here and there that I'm like, I wouldn't say that right now because I don't actually think that that's size inclusive or things like that. Like just, I just think I've changed as a person over the last 11 months and I need to edit this. But anyway, that's going off on a tangent. But those are the things I wanna do right now. Um, and overall, I just wanted to say, cause we've been chatting for a long time. Overall, I just wanted to say I'm back. I'm back to being honest. I had a little dip in my self-esteem and my confidence and in being confident in what I'm doing in life. I'm turning 24 next month. I don't have a clue what I'm doing and that is okay. I have passions Um, I don't have a stable income but I have an amazing family, an amazing boyfriend and everything's fine. I'm alive, I'm healthy, I'm mentally healthy and everything is really good and I refuse to let something like not having the standard nine to five job sorted out. I refuse to let that make me feel like I'm an inferior person any longer because that mindset is just not getting me anywhere. It's not helping me find a job. It's not helping me at all because it's just making me feel less confident, less likely to send in CVs, less likely to get part-time work. And that's the kind of thing I'm looking for right now. Like I'd love to be doing like 20 hours a week in some kind of social media role or like a marketing job or working with a mental health charity or doing admin. I would love to do that like 20 hours a week so that I have an income coming in, but also so that I have all this time to continue doing what I love doing. Because right now doing all this stuff online without it gener generating income, it's not working for me. It's not what I want full time because I don't ever wanna to have to change what I'm doing online to be a thing that earns money, if that makes sense. Like if I earn money from what I do online, that's absolutely amazing, but it's not my main motivation and I don't ever wanna be like, okay, what I'm doing right now, even though it's helping people, I need to change it up. I need to do more clickbait, I need to do this, I need to do that. I don't wanna do that, I wanna stay true to myself and I believe that if you stay true to yourself and you make the right connections with people and you keep going, that one day you you will succeed um, and I just get better at what I do online. Like, I just think I get better, like I gain more skills as I go on, but I don't want it to be like this mad rush and I don't want Jamie to pay all the rent, like, I just don't want that to happen at all. Um, I wanna, like, <sighs> You know, I just want to pay my way in this world, but <laughs> in this world, that sounds so bad. But that's where I'm currently at right now. I just wanted to let you know that like, you might watch people online and you might think everyone has things figured out, but <laughs> I guarantee that everyone has an area in their life where they feel really insecure. And mine just happens to be my income is something I feel a little bit insecure about right now. And I'm working on that. I'm working on that, but everything else is great. Um. And I'm gonna get dressed now. I've gotta to go to a house viewing. I'm viewing a place that's half the price of where we currently live. It's a one bedroom apartment. Um, because I think if we move somewhere that's half the price, then if Jamie's paying the full rent for a couple more months while I get myself sorted out, at least it's only like he's paying half the rent of this place. Like I don't really wanna live above our means. You know what I mean? But we might end up moving into somewhere better if we find somewhere better. But I don't know. I think this apartment's too expensive. It's literally like throwing money away. We shouldn't be paying this much for a small apartment. Like, we need to move. We need to move. And I need to sort that out. It's so difficult finding somewhere that you like. Like, so many of the flats around here, they're just like, uh, just not good. Like, they've got old cooking appliances. You know, like a cooker that's all like crusty looking and gross. Or they have damp or... 
they're just in a bad area and there's plenty of bad areas in Belfast like just areas that I just would not want to live in at all um but yeah that's where I'm at in life and I'm glad that you're still here watching even though my uploads have been so sporadic I'm so sorry about that but as I always say check me out on Instagram I am so regular on Instagram because uploading an Instagram it takes what like even if you write a good caption 20 minutes by the time you've done everything whereas editing a video and filming the video it's like an hour or two so you know I'm more regular on Instagram so I can just hit a button but I'm gonna get more regular on YouTube again I promise thanks for sticking by me oh and we're almost at 5k like what the heck that was like my wildest dream like a year ago like I just need to kind of process how amazing that is like 5,000 stars <laughs> 5 thousand like that is insane yeah it might be small um in terms of like online youtubers and stuff but think about five thousand people standing in front of you like it's nuts even if you even if your channel has 10 subscribers or 100 subscribers like that's so many people that are interested in what you're doing it's mind-blowing like i don't know how i would feel if i was ever a person who had a million subscribers i think my head would just explode it would just I would have to, I'd probably just stop uploading because I'd be like, I can't, I can't handle this fame. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to get on with my day now because you just don't want to hear me ramble anymore right up in my face. <laughs> So quite a bit of time has passed since I last spoke to you. I'm going to update you on what happened to my day. So I recorded a podcast about what I was talking about in this video, but in more of like a inspiration for other people kind of way rather than a life update. So I recorded a podcast, then I got dressed and then I headed to my viewing. The place was like not nice. Do you know those like flats that have fire doors and just like really narrow dark hallways and yeah just like tiles missing in the bathroom and like mold and just like not nice like it kind of looks like what university students houses look like like that kind of thing and that's really not what we're looking for so it's so awkward because I just hate whenever I'm by myself and like the person's always like so what do you think of the place and I'm like I don't think it's for me it's just, it makes me uncomfortable to have to say those words to a stranger while she's staring at me like wanting me to say I'll take it but at the same time I'm like we're looking at the same apartment here do you really think that I like it do you like it would you live here like that's sometimes what is going through my mind anyway then I bumped into a friend on the street and we stood and we talked for two hours just under two hours I don't know how it happened like the time just passed by um so now it's like it's closer to five o'clock than it is to half four basically so oh did you hear that pop that pop is the sound of my potato bread hello hello are you drunk i don't know you're you were in the pub also, you're on camera. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm in the process of making us a sweet potato and chickpea and tahini <laughs> salad. Well, what is that? Is that a big fan of parsley? Yeah. Is that parsley? I love parsley. Yes. I love fresh parsley. It's really good. Put in my space. Uh, did you bring me home anything? Anything to eat? Oh, there it is. I need a, I need to get cooking. Need to get cooking. I need to put the sweet potato in the oven. That's what I should do first. Actually, before I make the salad, is chop this up and roast it. If you chop it up really small, though, it doesn't actually take that long, so that's good. I'll show you the end result. I really need to take my bag off. It's so heavy. And, ugh. Were you waiting for me to finish filming so you could take your bag off? It's filled with my hopes We're and dreams. We're wearing a matching outfit again. Oh, nice. Oh. I love it. You oh. can't see, but I was also, I'm also wearing black jeans. Well, you're not wearing jeans. I was wearing sandals, now I'm wearing nothing. <laughs> Spread your toes. Spread your toes. Spread your toes. Well, backwards. Spread your toes. 
I need to stop wearing this shirt, like, because we just look like we're wearing the same outfit. Stand back. Don't stand on my toes. I can actually for walking. put this as my thumbnail, twinning with my bae. Pull a weird face. This probably won't even be my thumbnail now. Don't squeeze my bum. So the salad is ready and we decided to make a little bit of alterations to the original recipe. So what this is, is it's quinoa, chickpeas, um, a whole punnet of cherry tomatoes. There's loads and loads of parsley as you saw, chives and a big bag of mixed greens with beetroot and stuff. And then the sauce is lemon juice, tahini paste, salt, pepper, cumin and garlic. So it's really, really nice. It's really lemony, it's very fresh. It basically just tastes like parsley. It's delicious and then we're having it with sweet potatoes. So I'm really happy about this. It just looks so good. Mmm, mmm, we eating good. So my plan for the rest of the evening is to sit on my bum and eat this amazing concoction. <laughs> and I'm just gonna watch some Netflix. We're watching Fresh Meat at the moment. Let me know in the comments if you've seen Fresh Meat and what we should watch next. Fresh Meat's actually quite old. Um, I don't know when it came out, but it's not a recent comedy, but we had never actually watched it before and there's like four series and it's really funny. So that's what we're watching at the moment. But I will talk to you very, very soon. I'm gonna vlog for the rest of the weekend, but that'll be in an upcoming video, which should be up in the next few days and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below. I love knowing who's watching. Um, and yeah. Jamie, do you have any final notes to say to anyone? No, I have nothing left to say. I'm just gonna go and do exactly what Glad said and eat loads of food, it's gonna be great. <laughs> I'm actually pretty hungry now. Yes, it's gonna oh, be yes. delicious. It's gonna be delicious. Bye. Bye.